team. Well, when it comes to heart surgery, nothing is routine, but pacemaker surgeries are fairly common. With 3 million Americans currently using a pacemaker, it's become one of cardiology's greatest success stories. But sometimes there are failures, like when a pacemaker isn't installed properly. Now Purdue students are tackling that challenge with a new device called Safe Pace. A pacemaker tells the heart when and how it should beat. From the small device, it sends signals to the heart, as this video from Purdue shows. These signals run through wires called leads. If leads dislodge, it can cause malfunctions and endanger lives. Johnny Zhang and Elizabeth Mercer want to make sure the leads don't dislodge, so they invented Safe Pace, a device surgeons can use to make sure the ends of those wires don't go anywhere. It's low cost, it's simple, very effective, and that's what the huge benefits of Safe Pace are. One of the surgeons that could potentially use Safe Pace in the future is Dr. Igor Tubin, a cardiologist with IU Health Arnett. He says he does 50 to 70 pacemaker surgeries a year and the dislodgement is very rare. I would have to say maybe once every couple of years I'll have to go back and reinsert the lead. It may be rare, but with 600,000 pacemaker surgeries performed annually, hundreds of people experience this problem every year. And that number is expected to climb as the population ages. Here's how the safe pace works. The surgeon will actually cut an inc a two inch incision right here and feed the pacemaker lead into the heart. Once the wire is navigated to where it needs to be, the surgeon attaches the end of the wire to the heart using a very small screw. Then the surgeon attaches the other end to the safe pace. The surgeon then does a gentle tug and if the pacemaker lead is well implanted, the safe pace device disengages. But if the end screwed into the heart isn't screwed in well enough, the force from that gentle tug will drag the lead back through from where it came. Zhang and Mercer are confident it will work if it's eventually approved for human use. Dr. Tubin isn't backing safe pace just yet, but says he's happy to see students working on a solution. Obviously, any new technology which will make uh, lead positioning uh, more secure uh, and uh, safer would be welcome. Safe Pace is currently patent pending and the designers say they hope to get it approved for use in animals and then humans.